okay in the previous video uh, we saw the car parameterization but i want to explore more about uh, suspension parameters we saw it for linear two degree of freedom when it is independent suspension but if it's dependent suspension you have to go for linear three degree of freedom and if you are using uh, any multi-body uh, suspension you can go for mbs module then in the mbs module uh, see here you you get the option in the general to select which type of suspension model is there is it a uh, mac person front of excel then it is double wish one so let's see for double wish one and if it's symmetric or it's uh, uh with steering system or not if you don't want to add a steering system you can remove it you can add extended configuration like you can see all these parts which which, which are uh, shown here and in the bodies you can simply uh, see that we need to put the mass of it and the position of it okay so with this graph you can understand if you have worked on the revolution suspension you can see these are the just hard points you you are just putting it and the force element like how much spring force is there and uh, no not yet you you need to just see um, where is the point of the spring force is acting and then the spring mount like sp the spring is mounting on lower zone or the wheel carrier wheel carrier is nothing but the knuckle and in the bushing you have to put the location then its stiffness and in the mapping you can see there is a maximum compression option and then also number of grid points so all these things uh, i hope you will explore from the user manual it's difficult uh, to get these things okay so better to go with the uh, linear two degree of freedom okay but if you are interested to super fine your uh, suspension kinematics then definitely go for mbs editor then mm, next point i would like to cover is uh, manual okay in the manual you are just setting commands for your driver okay commands for your driver okay and to add a new manual you need to just click on this and click on new it will be added okay you can add number of manuals here okay just see let's see the type of manual okay first let's see what is global setting global setting is nothing but uh, the setting which will be uh, which will be followed forever okay which will be a starting starting value okay and here you can also add your real time expressions if you are in a competition definitely you will be uh, getting provided by these uh, real time expressions okay uh, sometimes if you don't get so the start values will be uh, in uh, directed because to keep them as uh, default uh, okay then uh, in the ma uh, in the manuals you can see this uh, manuals manual number which it starts at that second it starts at that duration of that manual okay if i change it from 30 second to uh, 500 meters then see what happens okay see okay the duration is gone now it's dependent on the time okay now you can label it you can label it as uh, uh, first drive okay then you can also add descriptions like start test run you can add end conditions okay these are conditions so just see for from the what you can say user manual definitely uh, and then in the longitudinal dynamics and their uh, lateral dynamics in the longitudinal dynamics you have these options ipg drivers speed profile speed control speed transition manuals pedal and, and stop vehicle drive backwards then i think just go for if you go for manual then you need to put the the value the value is between 0 to 1 okay 0 to 1 so if you are putting one then it will be a full throttle if you are putting brake as one then it will be full braking okay full brake pedal is applied okay that's that's you need to understand 
it, it, it this will not uh, stop your vehicle at that point definitely it will just uh, just apply a full force on the pedal full pedal will be applied and all these options are there i pitch driver and in this there's a driver parameterization okay let's come here at the next in the lateral dynamics you have all these things okay lateral dynamics okay longitudinal means it's it's for uh, along the length of the road but a lateral is for along the width of the road okay so you can opt for the offset like if, if the vehicle is going from the center you can make the vehicle to go from uh, uh, right side or you go from left side okay so that depends on the track offset you will get to know in the ipg movie so after all lectures you can try it by yourself add the value here and just see in the ipg movie what happens and i think these options are available if you want to add click new if you want to copy copy it if you want to paste it then delete it all these things you can do you can import import from another person if you are working in the team your team member can export the model and you can import all these manuals okay so that's all these things can be done and we have covered manual let's cover the driver okay in the driver see you can set the cruising speed the driver will not cause 60 km per hour now now it will not cross 100 km per hour corner cutting coefficient means that's yeah okay for the more info just go through the user manual uh, it is between 0 to 1 okay let's see 0 no corner cutting and 1 means maximum corner cutting okay so so if you want to go to, with really uh, sharp turn then you can go for 1 but basically it is better to keep 0 0.5 and uh, these are options if you want to change you can uh, definitely and uh, there are two types like user parameter as driver and the racing driver okay okay so get it in the presets you can say aggressive defensive so that's about the driver it depends on you which type you want and then uh, i think with this uh, let's go to tire okay. the tire see you can see it, the rim radius you can set the aspect ratio um, you can set the model parameters like there are a lot of options here to work on the tire because the scaling factors and the additional parameters it put. and if you want to generate uh in the generator you can see this option you can name the tire you can select the tire type you can select the tire size you can select the pressure coefficient of friction coefficient of stiffness and uh, with this you can generate and if you want to custom you can if you want to customize the tire because if the option available if you see the the lowest value is 145 but if it's, if your value is 130 then it's not available no? so for that just click on this keep the uh, tidex file and generate it already there so let's make it okay so let's keep uh, let's name the tire what you want to uh, submit to your competition okay so uh, if let's say demo show is the naming format and i generate it okay so i generated it now you see it's generated it generated here and if you want to uh, adjust the data you can do and that will be covered in the next lecture so that's it for this uh, video thank you